Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and this is episode 42 of my series in which I will try to collect a billion iron ingots. In today's episode, I will attempt to start work with bees. But first, I have a handy little tip for uh, fellow mod pack players, and that, and the tip should help with uh, your frame rate, especially around certain uh, things that may uh, cripple your frame rate a little bit. First, you want to go to mod options go to Minecraft Forge and then come down here to config and then go to client settings and set this right here to true. Uh, this should help you if you are working with a system that has a CPU with uh, I would I would say four cores or four cores with uh, SMT or better. Uh, I have a six core system and it helped my frame rate considerably around my nuclear reactors, for example, uh, because they tend to cause a little bit of uh, frame lag at times. Um, and as we see uh, up in the upper left hand corner, my f frame rate is pretty good and everything seems to be pretty smooth. Uh, before I was having some issues with some stuttering and that was especially kind of difficult to deal with. Uh, in recording. Now let's get down to some business here and this building I have built for use with bees and let's get some uh, actually I have them over here. I have s my old apiaries that I had set up um, and I have them as they were so let's go ahead and try to set these guys back up. I'm also gonna need a shovel and I have uh, this building set up. It also has a basement. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to automate uh, these apiaries from down below. So let's get these guys set up. Okay, we need to set them in specific locations. The modest ones need to go over here. And I'm not exactly sure... How much space do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, hmm, what's the best way to do this? I think it's just eight by eight then. Let's start here. And I'm gonna want some signs, and I don't think I've automated that, unfortunately. Let's run over here and do that real quick. Wood. And then sticks. And I just want to do this, that way I can write down uh, exactly what bees I have where. And uh, that way I won't have to like actually click on each apiary. I'll j I will just know exactly what bees are where. So I know I have modest bees over here. So let's go ahead and put modest. Boom. And I needed that shovel right here because... I didn't actually want to do that, but um, we should set these guys up like so, and then boom, and let's put our sand back, and uh, let's get some flux duct which we're actually not going to use flux duct at all, we're going to use signal and plated impulse item ducts. And this will carry our, our power to the apiaries. And we will connect them to a central system. I'm not sure how I want to do this. Let's just run it like this across. And this um, will make automating them hopefully easier. Uh, so. I think I'm going to use servos on the bottom of the apiaries if I can. If I can't, then I'll have to figure something out. Also, these bees did breed quite a bit, so we're going to have to get all this stuff removed and put into a our applied energistic system. But first, let's just get all this set up. Um, in case you're wondering, uh, this area over here is going to be for breeding. This area is just going to be for having base base drones that are uh, sand or uh, 
yeah, anything that needs to be in like a desert climate will be over here. And these two will be for most of the stuff, which would be like uh, Valiant, uh, Unusual, Mystical, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to go ahead and put up the rest of the apiaries off camera because it's just going to be the same type of setup as I have over here. And I will be back in a little bit. And I'm back. I have most of the hives operational. Um, in pretty much every single uh, apiary, I have a light upgrade, an automation upgrade, and an open sky upgrade. I kind of plan to build this tower up, but we'll see if I actually get there in the end. But for right now, this is what we got cooking in most, most of them. Um, a lot of them require a biome upgrade, and that's, that's perfectly fine. I chose to put my water uh, bees over here because... Um, there's a false or there's another like uh, false ceiling underneath this that allows me to place water because I believe the water uh, bees need lily pads. I'm not sure what the marshy queen needs, but we can figure that out here in a little bit. We got some stuff. Uh, I also made some health emulation upgrades, which I don't think I made last episode. But the next step. I think that I need is I need like a central storage system to send all the extra stuff to and that's where all this this pipeline down here comes into play I'm going to send everything to this guy right here and I'm going to slap an import bus on it and we are going to import things from here uh, but to do so we need to install some servos at least I really hope this works. Let's find an apiary that has a bunch of stuff in it right now. Okay, this this modest one over here will work. So in theory, I go, I slap this bad boy on, tell it to be always on, and we blacklist nothing. Let's see if that works. Okay, good. That's kind of what I wanted. Um, we'll see in the future. No flowers. Oh, I know. I forgot to put cactus up there. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that because I want that thing operational. Um, where can we put this guy? I think we can put it right there. And I think that'll work pretty well. So uh, let's see here. I have no idea what these things need for flowers, but we'll figure it out. Okay, are the modest... It'll start working at some point. Let's find one that's actually working right now. Um, yeah, Valiant, over here. So, we're going to need servos on all these guys. Um, actually, you know what, let's go ahead and slap these on all of them. Hopefully I don't regret this, because there's, there's a chance that, um, before the automation upgrade takes its, and does what it needs to do, uh, it, there's a chance that this system will pull out the princesses before they can rebreed. So that's kind of the thing that I need to check for. But for right now, let's just go ahead and install all these guys. Um, hopefully the automation upgrade takes precedent over the servo and, and everything works out like it needs to. Uh, there's a chance it won't though. But if uh, that becomes the case, then we'll figure something else out. But I really hope this works, because it allows me to keep the apiary somewhat clean. And I did not put that on correctly. There we go. Okay, so let's run over here and do all of these guys. I think you're lying to me, sir. I know the last episode, some of them uh, would s said at the end that they didn't have flowers. I didn't do anything. I came back like a day later and the bees had, they had started to breed and work. So uh, for whatever reason, it just takes us some time, some, some of the time to uh, recognize that, hey, we do have flowers now. Let's, let's start working. So hopefully the system works. I haven't actually tested it. Like I said, we'll figure it out. We, do we have any? That one's about there. Those two are about there. Okay. 
now I need to um, set up some apiaries that are for breeding. And we can do that over here. Uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and start this off. Let's install eight to begin with. That should be good and fine. And and like the uh, sand area, I also have a false floor or a false ceiling over here. So uh, let's get our signalum plated flex duct. Install that. Then we can install our, our apiaries. Over here, we will not be using automation upgrades. So, actually, I sent all my apiaries away, apparently. And we will need to throw in some upgrades. So, not automation. Let's not put that. We need the light and open sky in all of them. So let's get that. And then we'll have to throw in the biome upgrades as necessary because we won't really know what we need until we get there. And I did not put this flower here. The bees did. So that's, that's cool. Oh, whoa, whoa. I think I know what was going on. I think the embittered bees attack me. Because I think they're active now. What what just happened? Okay. We have a problem. Or we had a problem. I hope it's just had a problem. Okay, we're gonna shoot. We're gonna have to go through and check. Because when I initially hooked all this up and started hooking up servos, um, some bees made it to areas where they should not have. Um, but for right now, I need to make an apiary suit because those bees are stinging and we can avoid the sting by making a certain suit of armor and it would be this. And we can't even do that. Yeah, I don't think I can. Uh, okay, so plan B here is to get rid of the bees that are stinging me. I believe that it's either the sorceress or the embittered. So let's... I'm not sure which. Uh, I'm pretty sure that should take care of the evil bees. Um, we can set those up later, but for right now, let's not deal with them. Okay, we don't have those hooked up yet. Let's make sure everything over here is kosher. Nope, that's not kosher. And hopefully we did not get a bad breed here. If we do, it's not a problem. I have a, a purebred wintry over there. Um... Good, 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 good. That's not cool. That's not cool either. Modest, 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 modest. Okay, I think I have all that cleaned up. Um, let's see, over here. Did we get a rebreed? It looks like we did, because I think those were the ones that... So it looks like the automation upgrade takes precedent over the servo, and instead of pulling the princess over here, it just automatically puts it back in, which is exactly what we needed to see for the system to actually work. And it looks like it is. That's kind of a relief, because that could have easily been a pain. For right now, what we need to deal with is down here, we need to set up some machines to make all this work. And let's get rid of some stuff that we don't need for right now. Um, I don't think we need all this. Actually, we'll probably need some of those. Shoot. Upgrades. Um, I, I'll probably need the biome upgrades as I really dive into breeding the bees. I'm not sure that I'll even get there this episode, to be honest. But let's... Um... Okay, I think there's a good place to start. We actually need to run over here. 
because we need to start building some machines. First, I think we need to build a machine called a carpenter. And that is because we will need something from this carpenter before we can really start diving in. And that is, oh shoot, I don't know why I did that. And I think we will need uh, some water to run this carpenter. I just saw this flower up here. That's cool. So what I can do is this needs to not be that because it needs to be able to hold water. So we need a fluid duct, a signalum plated fluid duct. And hopefully that should do. Need one of these guys and some water. So we can put this, um, I think right here. And it's out will need to be on its right. And we can put the water. Shoot, I think I messed up. Yeah, I did, because it's not supposed to go there. Because it needs to go right here. I might actually have to put it down and use fluid duct. I know I need fluid duct right here. Um, let's see here. I might have to adjust my covered cable here. I gotta adjust something, and I'm not sure what I want to adjust. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just go ahead and make an S bend. <laughs> um, and we can bend it over this way. Maybe. Now we have to move this. This is I'm doing a super clean job with this. Oh well. Okay, let's get some resin. I think I need one extra. I have a bunch, <laughs> in case you haven't noticed. So let's go ahead and lay that. That should connect back up. That should be good. So now let's, uh, why are you not connected? You should be connected now. Oh, I think it's just taking an extra long time. Oh, well, let's set this guy up. Okay, that should give me water. And if I place this guy right here, it should get water. Cool, that's what we wanna see. Now with this, we need to make something I think is called an analyzer, but I'm not quite sure. It's called a portable analyzer. So I need 10 glass, redstone, and diamonds. 10 glass. Nope. Redstone. And a diamond. I think I only need one. Let's grab two, not really sure. I think it's made something like this. And that should give me my portable analyzer. Now the next thing I need is a centrifuge. And there are actually a couple different ways I could go with this. I can go with the forestry centrifuge or I can go with the centrifugal separator from thermal expansion. I think I'm going to go this route. Uh, I just like some of the thermal expansion machines. It gives me a little bit of additional functionality. So now I have the portable analyzer. That's, that's cool. Um, and we can use this in the future for other things. 
But for right now, I think we'll just leave it there and not do anything with it. Let's grab some stone and fill this hole in the wall. Because we don't want to look at that. So like I said, centrifugal separator. Um, and I have to go back to my other, I have to go back to my main terminal, unfortunately. Let's actually get a bunch of machines made up. So we need the centrifugal separator. I don't have a compass, I know that. Constantin, what? I don't know that I've made any yet. Um, how do I make this? Copper and nickel. So what I can do is I can just do this manually. I don't think I'm going to need like very much of this stuff at all, like ever. So I'm not going to automate this. Yeah, that should work. And then let's go. I'm going to need to expand my automation soon, it looks like. Eh, not really. False alarm. Okay, so we have the centrifugal separator. And now we need a bunch of Gendistry machines. A bunch of them. So, let's... We will need this, the mutagen producer. Um, hopper and mutagen tank. I do not have these guys yet. So let's make a bunch of them. Pretty simple stuff. Um, and then I need a hopper. Do I seriously not have regular plain Jane hoppers automated? I mean, what is this madness? What has the world come to? Okay, let's get back to industry. Mutagen producer. We need that. Um, we will need the Mutatron. I don't think I have everything for this. Okay, I was making sure I didn't have this already automated. Um, Mutatron. I already I did not do that already. And I'm going to need to make a Mutatron right away. Because I am going to make the advanced Mutatron. Because why start off at level 1 when you can start off at the end of the game? So we will need this. Also need this. Um, okay. The genetic imprinter. I can't remember exactly what all I need. I do need this. I know that I need the advanced Mutatron. Uh, the difference between the Mutatron and the advanced Mutatron is that with the advanced Mutatron, you can control exactly what mutation you get. Because sometimes if you can bind two Bs, you there are several different ones you can get. Um, I know I'm going to need the imp or the sampler. Um, I'm not sure if I need this one or not. Sometimes I confuse some of these machines with each other. I'm pretty sure I need the transposer. I don't need that yet. I don't need that yet. I have the imprinter, the sampler, replicator, and transposer. I think that's good for right now. We'll see if it actually is or not. And then let's go ahead and build a bunch of these guys. Imprinter, uh, replicator, sampler, transposer. I already have the advanced mutatron. Okay, let's roll over here and get some of this set up. So right here, I don't need that. 
Okay, this requires... Okay, I do not need this machine. Like I said, sometimes I get confused. I don't need the replicator. I definitely need the sampler. Um, what next? Uh, the transposer. Definitely need the transposer. Uh, I'm pretty sure I need the imprinter as well. And then the mutagen producer. Let's throw that over here. And actually, let's let's change these out for some fluiduct variety. If I can find it. Okay, cool. I have exactly what I need. I need a servo. reach this. I want to need that to be on and the mutatron right here. And then I need to run some covered cable across because I need to export something into this machine right here. I need to export something to turn into the mutagen. And there are, let's see here, there are a variety of things that we can use, I believe. Oh, and this won't even show. Okay, one thing I'm pretty sure I can use is Eulorium. We have a lot of that, so we're going to go ahead and say, okay, export Eulorium. The, um, these machines use a lot of power, by the way, so... That's kind of why I use the resonant flux duct underneath. I'm hoping that the... the uh, Signal and plated fluid duct under here is enough power for these machines. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant some flowers over here and maybe a cactus. And I'm going to try to get some. Actually, I already have some princesses. Let's grab a flower. And I don't need signs over here because uh, this area will be for breeding, so nothing will be constant over here. And actually, I don't even need to use those quite yet. Do I have mutagen? Give me mutagen. Okay, now, to use the advanced mutatron, and I think this will be kind of the wrapping up point of the episode, we need a princess. So let's grab something that we have a lot of. Do we have anything? Okay, a modest princess, because we have a lot of pristine stock over here. And let's see, what do we have for drones? Um, let's see if we can use a wintry drone. So what you do is you drop in a princess and a drone, and you down here it will show all the possible mutations. I absolutely do want a common queen, so I'm going to select that, and it will start going after I shoot. I forgot one little thing. Actually, two things, but they kind of serve the same purpose. Or not the same purpose at all, but they're both from Gendustry. They're both uh, tools, and they are not this, but this right here. I need genetics labware and blank gene samples. So let's throw these in, and I'm going to make a bunch of these. Uh, let's say like a thousand a piece or something like that. Cool. And so we need to run back over here. And let's throw these guys in. Uh, I believe the Mutatron just needs the genetic lab wire. Then you go ahead, you select what you need. Disappears, and boom. You have your common queen. Now for over... Oh, there's one more thing I need to do. Let's grab some combs. Uh, honeycomb will be best. Oh, I never installed the centrifuge. Well, why didn't I do that? I can do that right here. I need this guy. Oh, shoot, I already have one. Resonant flux duct. 
and an export bus. And we can go with acceleration card and or two acceleration cards and two capacity cards. So let's install this guy real fast. Oh shoot, I won't be able to Yeah, I will. Okay, so the export bus will be up here and we can say uh, for right now we can just throw in comb and then we need an import bus as well. And one of the reasons why I use this is um, I can make this a lot faster if I want to. I think I need three of these guys. One, two, three. So cool. What I need are the honey drops. And to use this guy, you right click it. You throw in some honey drops or uh, honey dew, I think will also work. And then you throw in what you want to analyze and it gives you the traits. And there are five different pages here and they all list kind of different information, but this is generally the most informative screen and it tells you a bunch of things about it. And the big thing I'm gonna need this for right now is flowers, what kind of flowers it needs and then the temperature and humidity tolerance, which allows me to tell um, exactly what kind of climate it needs to work. Um, let's throw an upgrade on this and then wrap up the episode. Um, it, it looks like everything's going to work pretty well with this system so far. Um, all our bees are breeding over here, which is what we want to see. Nothing stopped. Um, in the next episode, we're going to really start breeding bees. And we're going to expand... Like, I'm going to add common over here. I'm going to add cultivated and some other bees. And uh, we'll make some progress. Made some decent progress today with bees. But um, hopefully we'll go even further ne next episode. Um, as of right now, I have 4.4 million iron ingots as well as almost 2 million in backlog. Because remember, each, one, each ore we have here is converted into 2 ingots. So uh, we're doing pretty well. We have essentially over 5 million iron ingots once everything's processed. Like I said, I need to upgrade my processing, but that's uh, in a future episode. As for right now, this is Minecraft Phenom 08, and I will see you next time.